Welcome to the Black Dolphin. However, before I take you inside, I want to make it clear that this is not a family-friendly aquarium, but a prison that confines some of Russia's most brutal and feared offenders. With a total of 700 prisoners, they are responsible for the deaths of over 3,500 individuals, roughly five victims per person. It's safe to say that these walls hold some of the most dangerous individuals in the country. Despite having only a few hundred inmates, this prison is guarded by 1,000 guards and over 100 police dogs, not to mention dozens of sniper towers and multiple layers of barbed wire. For 300 years, no prisoner has ever made it out alive according to official records. In this place, even the most brutal and violent devils become docile. The star of the show, Nikolayev the Cannibal, who once dismembered two grown men and served them up for dinner, takes the cake for being the most disturbing of them all. In a twisted twist, he even fed some of the meat to a friend, passing it off as kangaroo meat. Unaware of the truth, the friend used the meat to make dumplings for his family. This gruesome act sparked public outrage. Despite calls for capital punishment, Russia had abolished the death penalty in the 90s. However, when the public learned that Nikolaev would be serving his sentence at the Black Dolphin prison, their dissatisfaction dissipated. It seems the prospect of being locked up in this terrifying facility is considered a harsher punishment than death itself. In today's video, I'll be your guide as we explore Russia's max security in the most mysterious prison. It's also the first time that international film crews are allowed inside. Before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our exciting content about different prisons around the world. The Black Dolphin Prison was established in the 18th century during Catherine II's reign. It was built as a deterrent for surf uprisings, located in an isolated desert on the border between Russia and Kazakhstan. The prison's original name was Colony 6 Federal Prison, but it is more widely known as the Black Dolphin Prison due to a Black Dolphin statue at its entrance. Unfortunately, the prisoners never get to see the statue as they are blindfolded throughout the entire journey to the prison. Upon the arrival of a new prisoner, the prison enforces the highest level of isolation. The cell is completely sealed, with nothing but a bed and a bathroom. Even the ventilation windows are absent. Despite its small size, this four-square-meter room has three large iron doors that resemble a cell within a cell. The door locks utilize three different methods to ensure maximum security and prevent any attempts by the prisoners to pick the locks. The cell is equipped with 360-degree cameras and motion detectors, monitored at all times by the on-duty prison guards in the control room. In the event of any unusual behavior, armed guards will promptly arrive to assess the situation. Regular checks are conducted by the guards every 15 minutes, even during sleeping hours when prisoners are required to face the door with their faces unobstructed for continuous observation by the night duty guards. In daily activities, the management of the Black Dolphin Prison operates with stringent regulations. Prisoners are required to awaken at 6 a.m. and retire for the night at 10 p.m. and must remain in bed during sleeping hours with no movement. During non-sleeping hours, any form of contact with the bed is prohibited. Meals are delivered by prison guards through a small window in the cell door. And no dining utensils, such as spoons or forks, are provided to prevent any possible misuse. For the prisoners in the Black Dolphin Prison, the most valuable time of the day is the half-hour outdoor exercise time. Their cramped cells have no windows, and the air is always stale and foul. This half-hour of fresh air is their only mental solace. Getting to the yard is not a simple task for them. They must endure a series of painful procedures. First, there are strict requirements for the posture they must adopt when leaving their cell. They gotta walk out with their hands behind their back, heads down, half squatting. As soon as they exit their cell, they are immediately directed at gunpoint by a guard against a wall until another guard thoroughly searches them. This search is repeated before the inmate returns to their cell, with every possible area including pockets, mouth, and even nostrils, being searched thoroughly. Every escort team is highly staffed with two senior guards leading the way, four more guards, and a police dog following behind, leaving no chance for the inmate to be alone. 
This has been a tradition at the Black Dolphin Prison, where an inmate must constantly be monitored by both a guard and a police dog. Attempts at escape by a prisoner will result in shots fired by the guards and pursuit by the police dog. The canine dogs here are all Caucasian sheepdogs, the largest breed in the world, standing nearly 6.5 feet tall and weighing up to 200 pounds. They have thick muscles and can even stop bullets from a .45 ACP. Their ferocious temper and sharp teeth make it easy for them to tear apart any prisoner who tries to escape. The breed was once used by the Soviet Army as military dogs, and they were trained to attack the neck arteries of their enemies. Once bitten by these dogs, their chances of survival are slim to none. Some may argue that the way the prisoners are treated is a little inhumane, but just take a look at the information on their doors and your sympathy will disappear immediately, as each of their crimes could make a horror movie. The info board also serves as a reminder to the prison guards that these individuals do not deserve any form of compassion. The warden has seen a lot of killers in his time, but the level of craziness of these prisoners still manages to surprise him. The reporter too was taken aback after reading only a few of their cases. One prisoner, for instance, was convicted of raping 44 people and killing five of them. Another, who lived across from this individual, murdered six of his friends after becoming drunk. The neighboring cell houses a prisoner who murdered 11 individuals. The prison also holds extremists, including the mastermind behind the 1999 bombing attack that resulted in 64 fatalities. But the craziest of them all is without doubt Nikolaev, the cannibal. It took seven prison guards and a police dog to just take him for recreation as he was considered extremely dangerous. Despite having only killed two people, Nikolaev ranks highly in terms of cruelty in this prison. In 1997, Nikolaev attended a party and drank heavily. On his way home, he got into a conflict with a drunken stranger and ended up causing his death during a physical altercation. To quickly cover up his crime, he decided to cut it into pieces. The next day, he passed off the raw flesh as kangaroo meat and gave it to his friends. It's difficult to find the words to describe just how twisted he is, judging from the way he talks and laughs so easily. To prevent them from becoming familiar with the prison terrain, prisoners must walk with their hands cuffed behind their backs and bent over, a unique walking posture exclusive to Black Dolphin Prison. Once outside, they must wear blindfolds to prevent them from knowing the layout of the prison. In this way, even if they somehow manage to escape their cell one day, they won't know which direction to run. Upon reaching the recreation area, the guards will take the prisoners' blindfolds off. Here, they will have a half hour of freedom without monitoring. However, trying to escape from here is a foolish dream, as the supposed recreation area is not a yard or a rooftop, but a massive iron cage made of reinforced steel. Prisoners cannot see the sky or the sun, and fresh air is only drawn in through a few ventilation fans at the top. When the prisoner is enjoying a brief moment of reprieve, the guards will conduct a thorough search of his cell. If any evidence of wrongdoing is found, the prisoner will then be transferred to a new cell, where he may face severe physical consequences. His food and recreation time will also be restricted as a result. In addition, Black Dolphin Prison is guarded by more than 800 armed officers, many of whom come from the top ranks of the Special Police Force or are retired Special Forces soldiers. The allure of working at Black Dolphin, where salaries and benefits are three to four times higher than those of regular prison guards, attracts some of the best in the field. These guards, who are skilled in combat and firearms, are located throughout the prison. They perform daily management tasks, secure the perimeter, or lurk in a corner with a sniper rifle, closely monitoring everything. In the event of an escape attempt, even if the prisoner is shot and killed, they won't know where the bullet came from. Theoretically, prisoners with good behavior can apply for parole after serving 25 years. But in the 300-year history of the prison, not a single inmate has ever been granted early release. Take this guy, for instance. He murdered his parents and sibling at the age of 20. And now at 50, he's still behind bars. The history of the prison has only seen one exception, and that individual was retried and successfully released through legal means. 
It's safe to say that the Black Dolphin Prison is the final destination for these prisoners. That's all for today's video. I gotta say, the Russians really have a way of keeping the meanest of criminals in line. If you like our content, or you are a fan of the ins and outs of prison systems around the world, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our community of curious minds. And hey, who knows, maybe you'll learn a thing or two about how to avoid getting locked up. So, subscribe to our channel today, and I'll see you in the next video.